Hey, what's up everybody? Dr. Strong here. And today we're going to be talking about nitric oxide and how it can help with neuropathy type symptoms. Also, we're going to be covering what is neuropathy, who's affected by neuropathy, and then we're going to go over the traditional medical model of how they treat neuropathy, and then how you can do alternative approaches to treat neuropathy, and how there are certain supplements that we can use to increase blood flow and to resolve these issues once and for all. So, please remember to like and subscribe, and let's get right to it. All right, guys, so what is neuropathy? Neuropathy is something that occurs when you have numbness and tingling in the hands or the feet, and it's commonly known as peripheral neuropathy because of it being occurring at the periphery of the body. So with this, a lot of the times what you see is people complain of like burning or tingling, especially with like strenuous exercise or if they're up on their feet all day. And then what will happen is that they get this almost like numbness or tingling sensation actually cause a lot of pain and it's aggravating over time. And this is due to a lack of blood flow to these areas. So lack of blood flow to the hands, lack of blood flow to the feet. This most commonly occurs in diabetics or people with vascular issues. It can be really debilitating and really bring down their quality of life. And so it's very important that you address these issues, not just with a medication or a surgery, but you actually repair the vessels that are being destroyed due to high sugar consumption or whether it's due to uh, a multitude of like heavy metal toxicity can cause it, alcoholism can cause it, B vitamin deficiencies can cause it. So addressing it from those standpoints and getting rid of the root cause and then addressing it with supplementation or red light therapies or pulse electromagnetic frequencies can really help. So neuropathy affects almost 20 million people every single year, and it's growing due to the increase in diabetes, due to the increase in overconsumption of sugars, and due to people just not taking care of their bodies like they should. Uh, this can also occur in certain autoimmune issues as well. So it's imperative that if uh, you're struggling with neuropathy, that you find a practitioner who can help you resolve this issue and knows what the root cause of the issue is. So some of the complications that come along with neuropathy can look like amputation. So actually taking off the limb that is uh, being affected. And that is most commonly because if they can't feel uh, the the limb, then what will happen is they will actually start to get sores and you can actually get infections or gangrene in these peripheral um, extremities of the body. So that looks like the hands or the feet. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that that doesn't happen. And it's very important that you're proactive in order to prevent it from progressing to that stage. Now, the numbness and the tingling and the burning in the feet just can really bring down the quality of life uh, pretty drastically. And then what you'll see is people will start having balance issues. Uh, they won't be able to tell where their hands are, so they'll drop ish, uh, things out of their hands all the time, or they'll trip over their own feet uh, due to the lack of blood flow to the area and it, the nerves aren't functioning appropriately. Maybe they don't pick up their feet as much because they don't feel their feet. So there are a multitude of things that can be consequences of developing neuropathy. So this happens in diabetics or people who have uh, been drinking alcohol for a long time or suffer with alcoholism. And this is primarily due to B vitamin deficiencies because B vitamins really relate to the neuronal health or the nerve health throughout your body. So any type of B vitamin deficiencies can cause these type of symptoms where it looks like there's burning numbness or tingling in the hands or the feet. So with that being said, uh, we want to make sure that your blood sugar is regulated appropriately, that you're monitoring your A1Cs appropriately. If you're having any types of these symptoms going on, then you definitely want to check with the medical doctor, make sure that everything is going appropriately. Now, with that being said, there are things that we can do in the medical model and things that we can do in the alternative medicine model. In the medical model, what they typically do is they use either... Uh, drugs like gabapentin or neurotin, which can be highly neurotoxic and they can cause other issues later on that you may not even know um, are going to happen. Some people do really well, some people don't do so well, some people get completely inflamed and have a lot of issues. 
We see it in the clinic quite a bit where people actually respond pretty poorly to these types of medications and they are not a long-term fix. They're something that you're going to have to keep taking forever. The other option is surgery. A lot of the times that looks like vascular surgery, surgery to improve blood flow to the areas that are being affected to get more oxygen and nutrients to those blood vessels. And with that being said, surgery is still, sometimes if you're not fixing the root cause of the problem, will only provide a temporary solution and you'll still have the neuropathy symptoms even at, later on down the road because you're never really addressing the root cause of the problem. And then they can do shots and other things to help reduce the symptomatology. But like I said, they never really fix it. It's more just a band-aid over a wound that's not given the real, real resources that it needs to heal. Now, in the alternative medicine space, we've actually got some things that are super cool that we can do. We can do infrared and red light therapy. So what that does, it actually stimulates angiogenesis, which is the regrowing of blood vessels. Yeah, you heard that correctly. It's 2022. We can actually regrow blood vessels that will actually cause the, the neuropathy to go away. And what we do, there are tons of peer-reviewed studies on this that show the efficacy of red light and infrared uh, light therapy in order to stimulate this. So because if we go back to the root cause of the problem, it is lack of blood flow to these areas, which is starving the nerves. And what happens is they start misfiring or they start falling asleep and then they start creating these sensations telling you that something is wrong. And from there, what we can do is uh, use those red light therapies to regrow the blood vessels, which will actually get more oxygen and more nutrients to the nerves so that they can uh, perform and function appropriately. There's also things like pulse electromagnetic frequency and nerve stimulation through, uh, it's similar to a TENS unit, but there are certain uh, models and equipment out there that are more powerful in order to kind of retrain the nerves so that they can function appropriately so that they're not misfiring and causing all that burning, numbness, and tingling that most people with neuropathy are suffering from. And then uh, another thing is just through proper uh, supplementation. So using nitric oxide stimulators in order to dilate the blood vessels to get more blood vessels or to get more blood to the nerves and to help uh, regenerate the vessels so that they can deliver that oxygen and nutrients. Uh, along with that, um, you can do oxygen therapy. There are multiple things that you can do to help stimulate the regrowth of these blood vessels and to ensure that we're um, creating an optimal environment for those nerves to kind of regenerate and heal. So uh, supplementation as well, just using anti-inflammatories, uh, natural anti-inflammatories to knock down that inflammation process so that there's not as much damage occurring to the blood vessels to help them heal even faster. So there are many things that we can do and you can kind of choose if you want to go the traditional medical model or you want to go the alternative medical model. There are definitely both options. In my personal opinion, the alternative model is way better. You're going to get a lot more benefit out of the alternative uh, model because you can do this long term and you can actually do it from home. So there are at home therapies that you can do. You can do all the supplementation at home and uh, to basically get rid of this chronic disease that affects almost 20 million people a year. And that's the great thing about technology and how it's advancing is that there are multiple things that we can do for multiple chronic conditions to help resolve them rather than just merely pro providing a band-aid for them. So with that being said, uh, if you found this information useful, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments or if you have any questions, just leave those below. There are also free resources below if you have any questions. So um, if you want to check out my free resources, I have a few books. Uh, I have a free weight loss hormonal program that you can go through below. If you just click on the links uh, to the link tree, uh, there are multiple other resources below to my website. Or if you want to check out any more information, other YouTube videos, there will probably be one that pops up around here. And also just subscribe to my channel and I definitely value your support. And if there are any other topics that you would like me to cover, just please let me know. Reach out to me if you have any questions. And thank you again. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.